<laughs> Hello, Dot Dot and Hoppy. Hi all, Del here from Violet Cottage. I just thought I'd do a, a small blog today, or vlog. Um, just, you know, updating on what we're up to today. So we're in May now. Um, so this is the time of year for us where we start to do some general cleanup. Craig's been out here earlier this morning and doing a lot of uh, weed whacking and whipper snippering. Da do dot dot. Da do hoppy. Um, over the last week we've had a lot of rain, so we had a lot of the marshmallow plants growing up out of the lawn here. So Craig got the whipper snipper out and started getting rid of them. I'm working on these garden beds here, which is a sort of mini orchard at this point. What's happened is the cooch grass has overtaken the garden beds and I've weeded and cleared away the cooch grass from around the base of all the fruit trees and all the plants. And slowly, slowly I'm raking, adding mulch to try and suffocate, uh, hopefully. Uh, the cooch grass. This bed's not too bad. It's in the shade. Cooch grass likes sun, so I sort of figure that if I cover it with something and uh, remove the sunlight away from it, hopefully it'll just sort of start to dry out. So in this garden bed over here, we actually also added cardboard underneath that and then laid it with some manure, horse manure, and then just gum leaves on top. The sun's come out now, so makes it difficult this is our um trellis walkway that we made out of the ladders and the old veranda post that we all sort of reclaim and salvage for free but yeah so that's kind of what i'm working on today with the help of craig in general clearing up in about June, we'll start pruning the fruit trees. This one here is a very old, uh, I guess it's a plum tree. It's funny, oh, I'm not sure what it is, but it, it's it's plum. It's a golden plum, but it kind of tastes like an apricot, but it's not an apricot tree. But I'm not sure what it is, but it does produce, but a lot of it is dying, so we need to sort of prune it all down. Plus... It's a bit of a fire hazard being so close to the house. And some of these trees are actually taller than the cottage now. So we're going to have to prune them down a bit. As well as all the new growth fruit trees. We need to prune them up. So next season, there's a nice apple tree there. They'll bear more fruit, be sturdier. And hopefully, yeah thrive really well the other thing and the other little job that I need to do is as you can see here this is the happy wanderer I've planted six of these plants three on each side hello Craig I'm just doing a vlog <laughs> no that's okay you can come out you can be in it if you want <laughs> you'll pass on that one there's the happy wanderers there. And they've really taken off. What we did was created these press metal planter pots for them that don't have a bottom to them so the roots can grow deep into the ground. And they're starting to really take off now. This one isn't doing too badly. It's sort of found its way up the post and is slowly doing what we want it to do, which is to obviously climb up onto the ladder and then eventually I'm going to wire the top of the trellis walkway so that it'll be like a tunnel of happy wanderers. Yay! But yeah, so my next job also in this section is to get some wire on this side of the post to make it easier for the happy wanderer to climb up in the direction that we wanted to. So I 
this is what we're up to and I find it helps me to just section off the garden as we're developing it into small little sort of zones uh, this helps me to just not become overwhelmed <laughs> with the entirety of any one project and be able to just focus on the task at hand which is to clean this area up get onto those few small jobs that we need to do try and keep the weeds especially the marshmallow plants but we also had some bindies uh, bindi weeds that we noticed so we've been digging them out as well so they don't start to spread everywhere and burning them off um, clear this area of the weeds especially during winter when there's lots of rainfall otherwise the weeds will just completely take over clear it up mulch it up hopefully smother any more of this cooch grass or at least slow it down while these other plants and fruit trees establish themselves put some wire up along these posts where the happy wanderers are so it'll make it easier for them to climb up to the ladder there and then eventually we'll be putting some wire across the top so hopefully creating a happy wanderer tunnel and the happy wanderers are beautiful they have a gorgeous purple flower this one's a duo so it has both look at that it has both the purple flowers but also the white but the rest of these are just purple so i need to do that and i've got to mention i also have some happy wanderer plants over this way too which are thriving these are old bee, bee boxes that i've turned into planters put the happy wanderers in of course their their bottom they don't have a bottom to them so it's just to create a bit of a form a bit of a level so the roots can go down into the ground but we also need to put wire across the top of this fence because these guys are starting to establish themselves and finding wanting to find a place for them to climb on so i think that's about it for today that's what we're getting into. We're we working on this. Oh, hello. <laughs> you can see my shadow. This is what we're working on for the next few days. Just cleaning, clearing, mulching, weeding, pruning some of these trees. Adding the wire to help support the happy wanderers. I do have a couple of rose bushes I need to plant, which I'm going to put in here near this wheel but that's it for this vlog and thanks for spending some time with me at Violet Cottage all right bye for now